Hey guys, so how to drift? I mean how to drift in the right way. So some people new in RC drift world who got their new RC drift chassis and then they are going to drift on the whole track immediately. Instead, there are few steps that you need to do first before drifting around the track. But because those steps are the basic and core RC drift practice that's helping you to learn how to drift in the right way. So even me right now, I also train myself by this basic step that I was myself. So what are these steps and practice? So don't waste any more time. Let's start right now. If you are new here on my channel, my name is Timmy and welcome. Please subscribe and click the notification bell so you won't miss anything of my next video. So before going to this step, uh, make sure you watch back this previous video that uh, your car, the setup is ready to drift. Because if the setup is not completed, it's really hard to go for the step to learn how to drift in the right way. So if you haven't watched this video, so make sure you watch this first. Okay, are you ready? Let's start with the first step. So only turn on the transmitter first and think about photo percentage you want to press. For example, let's say I want to press 50% and I press it, hold it and see the display of the photo range. Is this around 50%? If not, then you look at the display and adjust your finger until the photo is around 50%. Okay, so you remember this point is around 50%. So repeat once again, I don't look at the display and press it and see the display is 50%. If it is around 50%, uh, that's good. Then try the other percentage to practice yourself. 10%, 40%, 70%, 90% and more until you are confident with the range of the photo. And not only the photo but also the break. And this is a great practice for you to familiarize yourself with the range of photo trigger. If every percentage that you think and press it is similar to what the transmitter the display shows the percentage of photo. Then let's go to the next step. Prepare one cone and adjust the stream from transmitter until the car automatically moving forward with a very low speed first. Practice yourself surround the cone only or control your steering. And no need to control your photo first, so I will explain it why later. Firstly, practice a small radius first. Remember to control your car as smooth as possible without understeer and oversteer. And also have a consistent distance between your car and the cone. Secondly, practice a large radius. Same as small radius, control your car smoothly without any struggling with the steer. Thirdly, practice and control your car from a small radius, slowly slowly gaining the radius to a large radius, then slowly forming as a small radius. So some of you may argue, well, Timmy, these two steps are unuseful and boring, so why don't start drifting directly and immediately? So, this is because this is to help you to understand how to control your car basically. And this practice helps you without confusing left and right steering and also help you to learn how to control your photo with the variety of percentage. And not just photo but also steering. Photo and steering separately to control will help you to stay focused on one side and prevent distorted by the other side. 
because some people uh, initially can't control uh, photo and steering together but this practice may help you to learn faster and understand much more so let's go to the next step switch back to the original stream which means no any automatic photo and repeat step number two for the first practice is a small radius number one your car the speed should be controlled as slow as possible which means your photo should be pressing around 10 percent control your car without any sudden acceleration and struggling with your steering as the radius is very small and normally you will need to steer almost the maximum steering angle to turn that small circle next is a large radius as it is a bigger circle the speed could be higher than the small radius control your photo around 15 percent to 30 percent and your steering angle should be lower than small radius always remember smooth operation without understeer and oversteer consistent distance between your car and the cone and next is to control your car from a small radius to a large radius right here slowly slowly accelerates your car while controlling your car to less steering angle now we want to form a small radius so we will decrease the speed while increasing your steering angle next is start donut drift here is a demonstration so let me explain here in this video you can see the car drift towards an anti-clockwise direction uh, firstly accelerate your car with very low speed and right here steer to the left so you may ask how much should i steer so because of the different gyro uh, some gyro needs you to steer more but some the other needs you to steer less even it is a same gyro game but in this video i just slightly steer to the left but it is just for your reference because my gyro may not same as yours even my gyro gang is the same with you so please familiarize yourself with the gyro effect secondly smoothly accelerate and reach the photo around 30 percent and your car is starting to drift at that moment i won't let the car spin so i steer to the other side and drop a little bit photo to around 15 percent to 20 percent that means if you look at the transmitter you should slightly steer back but not reach the center or as you may know same with my gyro sometimes you need to cross the center so practice more so you will find how much you should steer to the other side like as i said it all depends on the gyro effect as i already explained it. thirdly reach and accelerate the photo to around 30 percent to 40 percent and keep steer to the opposite side according to your car gyro effect and keep surrounding the cone as close as possible when you are surrounding the cone if your car has understeer that your front wheel is not the opposite side but that means your photo is not enough to let the rear wheel to spin but if your car has oversteer but that means your photo is too much as you can see my finger i just have a slight adjustment during the donut time so don't do like this as your car will look like this and always remember your photo and steering should be as consistent as possible and all these exercise uh, don't forget to do another direction uh, that means you should practice both clockwise and anti-clockwise direction okay so you can do donut drift right now let's take a further challenge time yourself and see if you can do a one minute donut or even more 
So right now you know the basic concept on how to drift by just using the throttle and steering. So how about the brake? When do I need to use the brake? How about if we have a two or more cones? How to optimize your drift performance? So this will be my upcoming video. So I will see you in the next video. Cheers guys. Thank you.